All right, so we are looking at this question. It is titled Trajectory of a Charge in an Electric Field. Basically, it gives you a charge with a mass, M charge Q. It starts at the origin. It has this location, or there's a screen at L um, at a high, and it, so there is a screen at X equals L, a target on that screen at Y equals H. First part says that the velocity is given to you in the X direction. That's the important part. And then it wants to find E, the magnitude of the electric field. So we're going to zoom out. And so the first equation we're going to need to remember is E equals FQ, where E is the magnitude of the electric field. F is the force and Q is the charge. We can easily rearrange this to F equals QE. Now, since F is E force, we also always have F equals MA. We can go ahead and set these equal to each other to have QE equals MA. And then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put that in for acceleration because we're going to go ahead and need that later. We're also going to need the equations delta x equals v o times t plus one half a t squared. That's an equation you probably should have gotten from your previous physics class. And then also delta x equals your initial plus your final velocity over two times t, which gives you your average velocity. Now for part a, so we're gonna look at first, of course, we're gonna go ahead and use this second equation right here. So our delta x in the x direction is L. Our initial velocity is VO, and our velocity in the x direction is not changing. Oops. So our final velocity is also VO, which gives you L equals VO. Let me simplify that down, and then your time B L divided by VO. Now we're gonna go ahead and use this equation in our y direction. So our change of y is yh because we start at zero. Our initial velocity in the y direction is zero. So we are left with plus one half a t squared. We know our a, which we found right here from earlier, that is going to be our y acceleration because we start with zero and we are moving in the y direction. And we know our t we just found from our x equation. So the only thing left to do here is go ahead and simplify it for e. e equals 2m y of h over q times l over v o squared. And you can simplify that down by substituting out that uh, l over v o squared if you want to, but you don't need to. All right, now let's go ahead and do part B. So in part B, we are, now have our ex, uh, initial velocity is in the y direction. So we're basically doing the exact same thing and just switching the directions. So we're going to use that same initial equation, delta x equals initial and final velocities times or times t and divided by 2, but we're going to do this in our y direction. So our change in y is still change in x. Our initial and final velocities are both vo now give you y h equals v o t t equals y h over v o and then we're doing the same thing one half a t squared now in the x direction so delta x equals l plus one half a t squared our A is still the A we had earlier, so QE over M T squared is YH over VO squared. Once again, just go ahead and solve for E, so 2ML over Q times YH over VO squared. And then that is now your E. So those are your two E's, and then we go back to how I had it, you can see that that is the answers that I have plugged in right there.